As soon as my dad and I hop off the train, this is always the first place that I drag him to whenever we're in Nottingham city centre. Um, this place is equally full of life after dark as it is during the day. And when it's light out, you would never know that my favourite bar is situated at the end of that alleyway. At points, you are quite literally walking on top of a rainbow and this place is packed with independent stores and cafes and restaurants. My haunt is known as the entertainment quarter of Nottingham city centre. My haunt is Hockley. This place uh, was a pub and uh, I used to go there on a Sunday night. People would sit out the back of this place and um, sit on the step and on the pavement and uh, there was a jukebox inside and I remember we used to play what seemed to be on a, on a, on a loop uh, sitting on the dock of the bay the Otis Redding song and drinking very fizzy beer. I just remember I was about 21, 22 something like that and just feeling like everything the whole city was laid on for me. The fall away of the weekend and the day and um, and just thinking that life was possible and um and it was the back of the britannia pub uh in st anne's and um stroke snenton and um i spent a lot of time in there and i was very happy there and uh, it certainly was one of my favorite haunts in nottingham i first came to nottingham in uh, 1987 and uh, i immediately liked the city i liked uh, the buildings i liked the square there was one building that stood out for me though and from the outside, it's a building that, that looks very grand. It looks classical, uh, it looks quite palatial. And then on the inside, there's a sense of luxury about it, for me, at least a sense of comfort and excitement. Uh, I've been very fortunate to have worked there many, many times, and I've always found the staff to be very good. But the building itself just lends itself to the reason that you're there. Everything is there for you and it's beautifully designed. Originally built by C.J. Phipps, but then refurbished by Frank Matcham. And I've seen Frank Matcham's work all over the country and been in lots of his buildings. And they're all great. But I keep coming back to the Nottingham example of his work because I think it's the best. I think for some reason things just came together in Nottingham and he's created something that, well, people have been enjoying for 150 years now. And I hope the people of Nottingham go on enjoying it for another 150 years. My Nottingham haunt is the Theatre Royal. 